In this movie, we're going to create a new report based on multiple tables. The ability to join tables together is not so much a crystal function as a core database concept. This is where knowing your database comes in handy. You have to know which tables can be joined and what field they can be joined on. Otherwise, you get garbage or worse, a Cartesian product that can bring down a server, so I've been told. If you haven't already, go ahead and open Crystal Reports. Either from the Start Page tab, choose the Standard Report Wizard, or the New Report icon located in the top left-hand section of the screen. This brings up our Standard Report Creation Wizard window. Now, as before, you can have your choice. When you create a new connection, you can either choose to do the Direct Access or the ODBC. I'm going to go ahead and choose ODBC. From here, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my Crystal XI training database. That's the test database that came with this tutorial. And hit Finish. As before, we now see all the tables that are available to us. These are all the tables we can pull into the report. You can also add a command, but that's for later. In this case, let's go ahead and choose Revenue Transaction. You can either highlight and drag the table onto your selection window, or you can, of course, simply double click. In this case, let's double click Office. Now we're halfway there. We've chosen the tables we want, but we're not quite done. Go ahead and click Next. Now this is where the rubber hits the road. What I like to do is I like to choose a main table, and my main table is usually defined by the amount of data that's in it. It's usually the transaction level table. This is a table with all the dates, the times, the transaction numbers, what drives a database and its main purpose. I like to put that table over here to the left and then attach all the other tables that I need to it. This helps me keep perspective to realize what is actually driving the report. I'm going to go ahead and extend the office table down as well. Here's my case in point. In most databases, the primary function is usually the main table that drives the whole entire database. For example, there are far more revenue transactions than there are offices. That's just usually a general rule of business. If it's the other way around, well, I hope whatever few revenue transactions you are making are doozies. In this case, this is where it pays to know your data source. Now, as I created, I can speak with authority and say that site can be joined to office num. Now, Crystal has tools that will auto-join things for you with the assumption that the key fields to join on will be spelled exactly the same. Unfortunately, that's not always the case, and given the modular nature of most databases today and tables that are added on after the fact for a need that wasn't foreseen at the time of creation, it happens more often than you think. I felt it would be unwise to give you a perfect world database because that's probably what you're not going to find when you step outside of this course. So in this case, in order to join the tables physically in Crystal, it's quite simple. Click on Site, holding your mouse button down. Go ahead and drag the mouse over to Office Num and release. Now you'll notice it now has a blue line that connects Site from the Revenue Transaction table to Office Num from the Office table. We've joined it, but as you'll soon learn, there are more than one type of join. Go ahead and put your mouse right on the blue line and right click. Sometimes it's kind of careful you have to position it exactly right. Go ahead and choose Link Options. You can also delete the link, reverse the link, and remove all links. We'll get to that in a second. This brings up the Link Option windows. Now, there are several options to choose from. Right now, we're going to leave it at Inner Join, the Enforced Join Not Enforced, and the Link Type Equal To. The Inner Join, sometimes just simply referred to as a join, means that Whatever's in one table must also be present in the other table, otherwise it doesn't show up. So in this case, the site number in this table also has to be present in the office number field in the office table in order to show up on the report. If there's any mistake, you could have filtered records. These are the few things you need to be careful of. In our case, we're going to leave this as an inner join as Crystal likes to define it. In the next lesson, We'll show you how to group and filter at a more advanced level.